Welcome back to Lemmings World Tour, everybody. I'm Carful Artie, as always, and we're continuing the Diva Rank today. We had five amazing levels last time. Let's hope that the next five are just even slightly close to the same quality as the last five. Oh, okay. Not so much now. I'm level 21. Let it go. Oh, yeah. I'll be honest, I did not like that song that much. Like, it was all right. Definitely not the best song of the movie, though. This is by Idina Menzel. Actually, by Disney. I think Disney wrote the song. Idina Menzel did not. She just performed it. Anyhow, it's 20 lemons. We can kill two of them. Okay. As long as it doesn't actually play the music, I'll be all right. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Wait, have we done this level before? This looks super familiar. This looks super familiar. Is this a repeat? Hang on, I actually have to check this. Yep, yeah, it was... It was this level. It's the same terrain, it's just now it's at night. Okay, well then. Same terrain, just different background. I like this background better, personally. Banjo Boogie, oh yes! Alright, so we got the trap there. Perhaps we can glide over it. Sure enough, we can. Okay, well... That seems like a good idea. Oh, one way arrows that way. Uh, whoops. That's okay. Well, actually, maybe it won't be perfectly okay. But, well, I mean, we can try. <laughs> we also have a stoner. Says up, dudes. What's what's cracking? Hmm. Perhaps I'll hold off on making him a climber for a little bit. Wow, I like that. And can they just bash through that? They can! That's just beautiful. I say we do that right now. Um, no, not from that low down, though. Like that. Okay. No, we only need one more platform, so we could... Uh, oh, no. The terrain is situated in just such a way, so we can't do that. We can turn around, though, and potentially do that. We can do that, and they will all go through there, but the problem is... That will leave... Oh wait, I have a swimmer. How did I not notice this? My goodness, I am a nincompoop. So technically, we could not even do that. Boom. Well, this is very simple. Well, not very simple. I mean, I've been struggling with it for a little bit. That's why you always read the skill bar. Okay, so then we just have to turn ourselves around. Now we can bash all this. Is it really that simple? Did we not even need the stoner? It was really that simple. Okay. We even saved two extra lemmings. Yeah. Okay, well, that was pretty simple level to start off with. I like the 
I like how it's a repeat level. We don't see nearly enough of those in Lemmings anymore, because people are like, repeat levels are lazy. It's literally just like you t you take a level that you already made, then you just made it easier. But it's not true. I really, really like find playing levels that I've played before, and this time having to solve them in a different way with different skill sets. It's really good. More people need to do that. All right. Level 22, Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus. Um, okay. I'll give you points for cleverness with the actual terrain, but not a fan of that song one bit. We can kill a lemming this time. Alright. <laughs> I remember this is what Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball song sounded like. <laughs> it's got that western song. Okay. Well... Let's just try some stuff, and then see what works out. This seems... simple. I think the only problem is going to be a lack of constructive skills. Got that banjo song. Aha, that second gap is indeed smaller than the first gap. I was right. Now all I have to do is send up another climber. Hopefully I give enough time. I didn't. Alright, send him earlier. Like right here. Booyah. Now we just bash him out here, and that should work. Yeah! Very simple level. These are the kinds of levels I like to play. I don't like to make, though. Because I'm like, these levels are too easy. Nobody will like them. But people like easier levels as long as they're not mindless or tedious. So good job, Strato, for making some good easy levels. And hopefully we can finish on time this video. Level 23, um, Yerushalem Sh uh, Shel Zahav. Okay, is that like a Jewish psalm? Because Yerushalem, Yerushalem sounds like Jerusalem. Well, we can kill five lemmings this time. I don't really want to, though. Okay, we got the exit in the middle. And it's floating in midair. But we've got floaters, so that's okay. Okay, cool. Life hack, floaters can enter into an exit like that. As well as gliders. Oh yeah, there are two hatches. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, I can't believe this now. Dun, 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 dun. I really cannot believe this. Beautiful. So they're all trapped. Oh, why couldn't they have been one pixel higher? It's alright. You know what we're gonna do? Bridge wall, baby! 
Hmm, I love me some bridge walls. Alright. No, no, no. Go back. Thankfully, we can afford to lose so many lemmings. Oh, wait, hang on. Whoops, that's not going to work out, actually. Because they're all going to be coming from the other direction. So what we're actually going to do is dig from here. And build. You can blow. That is acceptable. Oh, why are you dying? You should not be dying. You're right on top of the trigger area. Fine. Be that way. Come on! That is completely on the trigger area. Fine, I'll make him walk even farther forward. There. Is that satisfactory, your highness? Not even tell me he fell again. There we go, at last. Here, you all can be floaters. Now, however, you guys also need to build all the way across. So yeah, little trick you can do there. Floaters can enter mid-air exits. I like that trick, actually. It makes sense, because floaters have basically control over where they're falling. So, like, they're like, oh, hey, it's an exit. Let's, like, blow in there. It makes sense. Especially if it's gliders. Just fallers, I also think, could potentially be able to do that. But, no. Alas, no. Whoever designed the OMX did not like that. Oh, look! I got the error message that literally makes it impossible for me to quit out of Lemmings World Tour at slash Neolemics unless I open up my task manager and forcibly quit out of it. After rudely being interrupted and forcibly quitting my application without quitting the application, we get to do this again. Oh, it's rolling in the deep. It's the octopus level again. Well, the octopus level, guess what? That was actually really hard. So I'm not looking forward to this one. Oh boy. This is by Adele, in case you didn't know what rolling in the deep was. It's one of everything, though. I will say the hidden traps here aren't very great because you can't see their trigger areas with the up underwater updrafts. I mean, I still not, I still have no real problem with them, but like, I don't be surprised when people complain about it. No, you're supposed to bash all the way through the crab, you dolt. The crab? It's a clam. Man, that clam is like, no, you're not getting past me. I also can't even bomb him because there's not enough terrain around. Would 
fencing be better? Nope. Barely take out any terrain at all. Man, that trigger area is enormous. I think that's my biggest complaint with this level, is just you can't see the trigger areas because it's underwater. Wait a second, hang on. Can we just do like a digger plus a basher? Oh, that only gets us through one trap, but that does work. Yeah, that's that trap is weird. For this level, anyways. Gotta make way for Prince Ali. That one makes makes a little sense because you're right beneath the octopus. Oh, there's another trap for real Z's. What am I supposed to use the dumb old stacker for? <laughs> if I saved the platformer, I could get him out of that, but unfortunately, that's gonna be difficult. Okay, so... Eh. So this doofus... He's the problem. He's quite a problem, actually. Let's see... How can we make him less problematic? Now, what the heck is the stacker gonna be good for? Eh. Rookie mistake. I see the one pixel missing from there. Use the wrong piece of terrain. Like, I think it's this piece that might be wrong. Or this one. But some of the pieces of terrain have pixel wide holes in them, and the reason for that is so you can make, like, a crossroads. Like, one piece here, one piece here, one piece here, but nothing there or there. It's grid layout. Okay, what's the dumb stacker for? One of the reasons I don't like stackers, after all. Hmm. Oh, I know! Oh-ho, I know! That's what the dumb stacker's for. Oh, actually, what we should do, we should just build so we just barely get over the trap. To give, to hopefully, the maximum amount of distance. Um, no, I didn't want you to go up. Well, that gives the minimum amount of distance, now doesn't it? Oh, this is just stupid. Maybe I can platform over the alligator's hitbox. Nope, it's gotta be that one. I hate these dumb spacing issues. Yeah, they are the worst. Maybe if I could hold them back somehow. 
I don't really see how though. I don't really see how I could hold them back without the stacker, but then I'd have to destroy the stacker to get people out. Oh, I can't even blow up anywhere on the sand. Okay, well, that's a thing. Okay. You know what? Fine, then. How big is that freaking hitbox? Is it, like, this big? Alright, we're- no, this is gonna work. We're raising the release rate to 50. Or 51, sure that works as well. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> how about that? Oh, also, I forgot. Timing-based puzzles with a passion. Oh, and we even use the, the stacker, too, so we can't even trap them easily. up there. We have two, three traps, four traps left. And we have five skills left. Those two will have to be worked in conjunction, so every other skill we're going to need two stone finch to get past. Hate, 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 hate timing based puzzles. Like, puzzles that rely are aligned on, like, oh, did you not have enough space between the lemmings? Too bad! if... Granted, this is a big what if. What if... Oh, no, because then they'll turn around and be stupid. I was gonna say, what if we just bash for there to slow the rest down? But no. Yeah, I'm not going to platform into that. Oh, I can't build into that either. I said no. They're too close together, you can't even do a digger. They're literally so far apart that not even a digger will. Hmm. 
not a fan of this one at all. Like, you're just supposed to magically have enough space between those two lemmings that they don't die. And you're supposed to just magically have enough space between every set of lemmings so that they don't die. Back to the drawing board. We can keep him trapped in there indefinitely. Ideally, I'd like to bash them out. If I can't bash them out, I could fence them out, though. So that could work. Okay, well, if this works, then... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, that's not good. Also, I use too many skills. Dunk on it! One, two, three, four. Five traps to get through, and I only have seven skills. First part is that side is deadly. <clears throat> there's like no good way of keeping them penned in, really. And there's no real way of getting letting one lemming go ahead without sacrificing too many skills. Well, so much for this being an easy level, or an easy episode. Which is sad, because the design of the terrain is great. Design of the objects? No. Levels like so much. Bomber could be used for the top. That's something. The clam is really obnoxious. Let's get through him first. Why did that guy get through? He never got through before. Wow. Is that one frame? That is literally one frame.
Don't like the cluster of guys there. Also, Fencer is a bad skill on this hole, too. You basically gave us all the worst skills. At least for the terrain. Like, Bomber that you can't use because the ground is so thin. Fencer, which you can't really use because there's no real terrain defense through. Maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. So the Digger and the Bomber. The Bomber kind of sucks. What if... Okay, let's try out something new. Eh, wrong. You should not be coming out. That's great. Real, very good job placing the water on this level. Is there a way we could use the stacker? Just the stacker to keep them penned in. I think the answer is no. Oh, wait. Oh, if this is what it is. Okay. That's... That's something. At least we can blow them up. Alright. Fencer for there, for sure. Alright, well, at least, if that's what you're supposed to do, at least it's not a timing-based puzzle. I do appreciate that. What I don't appreciate is, you can have hidden traps. I have no problem with hidden traps, but try not to do hidden traps on a level where you can use true physics mode to see where they are. Oh, no. I'm out of skills. No. I can't be. How could I have done this more efficiently? I'm holding everybody back. I want to dig all the way through. I won't settle for anything less.
That stupid clamp, that is, without a doubt, the biggest problem with this level. His hitbox is ridiculously huge. Perhaps, can I use the Digger plus the Basher to get through all three of the traps? No, I can't. I really want to get for all of them. Okay, that's not gonna happen. That's super annoying. Also, no idea how big the alligator's hitbox is. So that could be really stupid. You know what, I'm going to have to come back to this level later because I literally have to stop recording now. Okay, so after some time off camera and a whopping two days later, I solved the mystery of the octopus level. And I'll, you know what, I'll just say I don't think it's intended because I actually saved a skill. Believe it or not, because I could not find figure out any way to use the bomber. That said... That Dane Octopus. That said, I feel like this is mostly intended. So what happens here is, sure enough, like I thought, it was a timing-based puzzle, which I really, really dislike. So you can stack here and trap them all within one pixel. And I was wondering, well, hey, can we bomb them out? No, we, we, we could, but it doesn't really work like that. So now we're going to build over the clam because of his dang big trigger area. We also maxed out the release rate because we want all the lemmings out as soon as possible. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to dig, followed by a fencer. And then at that moment, we bash the lemmings out. We platform up here so we can get over that trap. And then at this point, this crowd will converge with this lemming at roughly the exact same time. So that way we can basically do a compression method to get past the last alligator. We can't use the bomber to get past the alligator because the ground is too ground is too thin. Yeah, not a huge fan of that one. Not sure if that's intended or not, but I'll just be frank, I'm not a fan of that level, mainly because of the trap placement with the underwater screwing up true physics mode. The fact that the water do isn't all the way through the rock, and just... A couple of other fans. Honestly, I think it, it looks really good. The octopus looks sweet. But it's it's not a very fun level, and I wasn't really... That was one level I wouldn't want to see again, for, even from the first rank it was tough. That's my opinion. Anyhow, we're on the last level of the day. We might as well try to solve it. Level 25, Touch My Body by Mariah Carey. I'd rather not, unless it's consensual. Alright, so we can kill four lemmings this time, and we got a laser. We've got a laser in between here. Okay. Very interesting. So... Hmm. Who wants to bet that if we have a lemming fall in stone, they'll walk right into the fire? I'm willing to bet that that's a thing. Exit is over there. Alright. Hmm. Hey, hey. Okay. Well, that means you can climb up through there. Because it's not inside the wall. 
nothing on that side. And that's very interesting. Hmm. Please deactivate true physics mode. Thank you. Let's see. How much... Yeah, that's a good amount of splat height. I mean, we can use a stoner to stop him. There's no way we can save the blocker, is there? I don't think so. So how do we merge the two... Okay, this could be weird. So let's try something very strange right from the get-go. Sure enough. Uh-huh. I was wondering about that. So then they can go that way, what we want to do... Now we can merge these guys together, and this seems extremely hackish. Oh wait, no, that kills too many lemmings. Well, you know what? We can still make this work. Alright, so you, you die because you're too close together with your friend there. So what we're going to do is, overwrite, we're gonna make him bash again. <laughs> That'll slow him down enough. Oh, you are still too far back. You know what? We can still fix that, because we have a fencer to spare. No, he's still going to fall like a doofus. But not if we do that. <laughs> Again, this feels incredibly hackish. And I doubt it's the intended solution, but hey, it works. <laughs> well, that was quite um, quite a bit easier than the last level. I, I enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wouldn't make a level like that. I don't like hacky solutions, but then again, I feel like that was 100% not intended, because I didn't use any climbers. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see, so that's a good time to stop since I'm combining this with my previous day's footage. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. To the next time, I hope we won't let the octopus sour our mood for too long, because we've got five more diva ranks to go. Diva? Wait, that's not right. We've got... Okay, we got 15 more levels in the D.Va rank. That's what I meant to say, not five more D.Va ranks. There's only one D.Va rank. Anyhow, look forward to that. Uh, sorry if I was a little um, grumpy during the octopus level. I It doesn't bother me a whole lot now, like now that I've had like a day or two to cool off. I, it doesn't bother me, but I did not like the level particularly. I don't think it's a very well-made level, but I'm not like angry about it, so... Just so people know. Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.